Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to set up a custom Photoshop Elements brush set. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also subscribe. Hit the bell icon when you subscribe to get notifications of my new videos and to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements. Take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. In a previous video, I showed how to take a logo and make it into a brush like I have right up here. And then I included that brush in a brush set. I just called it Untitled Brushes. And then at the very bottom of this, that's where that brush shows up. So it's pretty easy to make a new brush and add it into a brush set. Now, if you want to make a custom brush set, what you want are just the brushes that you want to have in this one set and not all the rest of this stuff in here. And it's a two-part process. It's actually very easy and very quick to do. The first part is to find the brushes you don't want, and it's simply a matter of clicking on the brush like that, right-clicking and choose Delete Brush, and then choose OK. You'll have to go through and do this on every single brush in the set that you don't want to have, and that could take you a little bit of time depending upon how many brushes are in that original set. Once you're done, let's say I cleaned out everything except for this one, it'll look like this. I'll come down here into my Logos, there we go. I'll just save that one on top of that. So here's my Logos brush set. I've removed all the brushes that I didn't want in here and just left just that one brush. Okay, so that's the first part is to make yourself a clean set. Again, pretty easy. Just take your brushes. There's my untitled brushes again. Click on a brush, right click and delete that brush and then choose OK. Okay, so now go back to our clean set. It's my Logos set right here. We now want to add back into this the brushes that we want to have in this one custom set. I'll take a few brushes from a few of the different brush sets and I'll show you how that's done. Again, very easy to do. Let's go to our artistic brushes first. A lot of fun stuff in here. Here's some interesting circles and things. I'll take this one right there. It's a good sized circle, kind of like that circle right there. You can see actually it is that circle right there. So I have this one now selected and that's the brush that's currently being used. Now just change the brush set to the set that you want to save that brush in. Notice how that brush is still selected. And then go up to this little icon right here and choose Save Brush at the top of the list. It's going to give it the same name. There's the brush. Choose OK. It then adds that brush to this brush set. So we're beginning to build a custom brush set. Let's do just a few more of these. Let's come down here to Assorted Brushes. I'll just save that logo set right there. There it is. Maybe we'll do something different. I just come down here to our special effects brushes instead. And I'll take this kind of strange thing right here, kind of a flower shaped brush right there. If I bring this up in its size, let's just bring our size control up here. It gives kind of a, a strange thing happening. It kind of does a random flowery, kind of a 60s looking brush. Interesting special effect. Let's now switch back over to that Logos brush set right here. Back up to this little icon right there and save brush. And once again, it will save this one inside of this Logos set. Do that one more time. I'm just going to save this set right off the bat here. Just choose Save Brushes. And again, I'll save it back on top of itself right there. Choose Save and OK. Let's find one more brush in here. Let's go back to the standard default brushes. And I'll just take two brushes actually. Let's take the largest of these standard round with the hard edge. That's a good standard brush. Go back to our logos set. I'll save that one. Save brush. Choose OK. There we go. Again, let's save that brush set and back on itself. Choose save and yes. Let's now go back to the default set and I'll choose a large soft brush this time. I'll just go for a hundred pixel, which I have in here someplace. There it is, right there. 100 pixel. That's the one. Soft brush. Let's go back to our new brush set. That's the logo set. And once again, save brush. Choose OK. So there we go. We now have a custom set of brushes right here. And I've saved them here as the logos set. So there you go. Basically a three-step process. First, add a new brush into an existing brush set. You can then save that brush set 
as a new set and that's right up here little icon right there and save brushes you need to have a new brush in that set to do this though or it's not going to save that set that you can then open it up again so add a new brush and then save that set then go back to that set and delete all the brushes that you don't want out of that set and once they've all been deleted then add back in the brushes that you do want to that set and that's again easy to do just go to one of your sets choose a brush go back to your new working set and then choose save brush to save that brush into that new set so there you go that's how you can create a custom brush set now if you like this video make sure you hit that like button also make sure to hit share and subscribe as well and to really learn how to use photoshop elements take a look at my complete training course and there's a link again right down there in the description okay and i'll see you next time